That is so bull. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, yeah, while I was recording on, I recorded my PlayStation. I do everything on my console. I got to a part, and then my game ended up crashing. So my 28 minutes of 28 minutes of footage has been erased. So I'm gonna recap it for y'all. Um, basically, okay, you know what? So, uh, 28 minutes. We started off with Emily. So honestly, what I can do to recap, we can look at our butterfly effect. So I got to Emily. Um, we end up meeting with the guy, the flamethrower guy, yada yada. Um, with that flamethrower guy, uh, he found Emily, gave her like a bunch of um flame, not I forgot, like like glow, I forgot what they called it. They're not glow sticks, they're part of a oh, a bunch of flares, right? Bunch of flares to protect her, uh, because obviously. We found out that these things that are chasing us are called the Wendigos. Wendigos hate fire. Flares make fire. You know, you see the correlation. Uh, but yeah. Um, while I was running with Emily, I was doing so good until I got bit. All right. Emily was bitten, but she's not dead. So we don't know if she's infected or not. So Emily's still good. And then we end up going with Chris and Mike. They, um, because obviously... At this point, Josh revealed himself as he was a psycho. He made everything up. As you can see with my mystery man. Boom, boom. If I click in one. And when I click. There we go. Fake death machine must have cost Josh some serious money. Obviously, everything Josh did, he made it up. Um, These must have been Wendigo sightings that mystery guy was collecting. So, yeah. Um, Josh is the psycho. And, um, yeah. And, obviously, Matt, um, Mike blamed Josh because he thinks he killed Jessica, and Jessica's not really dead. We just haven't played her in a long time. Um, so Jess is still alive, but Matt, Mike don't, didn't know that. Uh, so we end up tying Josh up in the shed, and, uh, that's when Emily came running to the lodge. She told everything that about what happened in the mines. And then this flamethrower guy shows up saying, yep, y'all going against the Wendigos, yada, yada. And then that's where we go left off. Um, now with Chris, knowing that there are actual Wendigos out there and actually real monsters, he didn't commit no crime. So he goes in and tries to save Josh with the flamethrower guy. And that's where we left off. So we found... We didn't find Josh in the shed. Josh ended up escaping, and now we're exiting out the shed to get back into the lodge and regroup with the people. Uh, so that was a good three-minute recap. Um, thank you for all the love and support. If you want banger videos like this one and want more banger videos like this one, please subscribe and turn on your post notifications for me. Uh, so yeah, all right, that's a quick little recap, and we're caught up. Also, since I didn't shoot Ashley, Ashley was actually concerned about Chris as he left. And look, they got a kid. So yeah, all right. Um, I searched. I searched everything in these, uh, I searched everything in this shed. There was really no totems. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Wait. Don't move. Bro, that shit was instant. Be quiet. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. By the way, if y'all think I'm moving like that, that's vibration. Get out of here! Oh, 
Oh my gosh! Okay, you gotta go, Chris. Damn! Oh, shit. Just like Beth's head got cut off. Bitch! Oh my gosh! I try to move my controller. I forgot you gotta move your thumbstick. Almost sold, bro. Almost sold. That would have been your life, Chris. Oh my god. That would have been your life as well. Oh, bro. I am spamming my button, bro. Chris, if you don't get your weak ass up. Come on. Come on. Got you. I'm gonna be honest. Let me in quick. Chris! Oh my god, what happened? We gotta go. That thing was like right behind us. Go, 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 go! Oh. Oh my god, it took the body. so good up there right now understatement of the night chris where's the flamethrower guy uh yeah he uh he didn't make it no what happened the thing it, it tore him apart oh brother right in front of me oh god all right these are all the doors yeah are you sure hey. what are you looking for another way out mike look i really don't think that's a good idea we should stay put right here until dawn at least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top? That thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That okay, Sam. That's what'll happen, right, Em? I mean, you got your yeah, cake. I, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh. He's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Okay, Mike. And what is all that? It's uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. The sanatorium. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You have been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped in. Mm, all the searching I did, God. now I can give them Some information. Of them like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter and I think he figured out there'd been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not they sure knew what it was means, a death trap. I found yeah. this chair, dried blood all over the place. Like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Oh my god, everybody just ditching out information. Um, um, what is, huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh it's my nothing. god. nothing, oh it no, just, oh it, no, it no, bit no. me and... It bit you? What bit you? The, the Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens if it bit you, you're gonna turn into one and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
They're not zombies. Get down here with us. What, Mike? You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell, I Emily, am. you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Damn. Guys, what are you, you doing? You saw the tension in Chris's face. Who is right here? I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Go, go, go. Mike, calm down. Hey, chill on that, Mike. You're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room and... Damn, his chair went up. Okay. All right then. Ashley, open the door, saving Chris's life. That's crazy. So if I would have done that, she would have been like, "Lock the door. You're dead." That would be crazy. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do this. I'm really sorry. That would have been a waste of a bullet. I hope you did. That would have been a waste Maybe. of a bullet. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. I ain't gonna lie, hey, Ashley. It's not I'm safe. I'm like a badass with that black eye. I'll be back soon. That's crazy, bro. Mike is gonna go down into the mines by himself. What the hell? You Damn. okay? Her life was almost taken. She's not okay. Who am I? I'm Ashley. Why is she looking like a bit? Don't get too I close to my that, man. That he was gonna help us. Is a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. Journal cannibalism. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. This I'm the only. A little OCD. Okay. Uh, I am the only man who has ever kept them under control, or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. Grows out of cannibalism when a human is desperate and craves food. Trapped on a mountain in the fierce winter storms. Nothing for many days. The Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse. Often those companions who have traveled with him who eat the flesh raw from their corpses. I've seen this happen many years ago. A craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled. Talk across the bone. Interesting. As an account of the Wendigo, this creature is real and dangerous. If you are reading this, you will have questions, but I do not have all the answers. This is all evidence and story of my own experience. And that's local man found dead. All right, that's at the beginning. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, uh, born in ice. There's a lot of history to this. Oh, keep reading. Um, every animal became sacred. Also, the Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal and would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep in the sacred mountain. Say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. Okay. Eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. Are you going to say something, Ashley? No? All right, bet. The Wendigo says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, 
When they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. What the fuck do you mean by that? Uh, the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem filled with no pain. Or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, so a shotgun will keep them at bay. It's mutated from a human. It knows how to hunt. It can perfectly... You must remain sharp and disciplined. Kill six Wendigos. Knives or bullet will not harm them. Use the flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Burns away their skin and makes them weak. Try not to kill them. Should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those. No further use of them. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. Okay. I found artifacts on the mountain and copied them. Totem bunches of herbs. Grows from the bite of another. But the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. So, Emily is good. Nice. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Why do you say no, no, no? It should be yes, yes, yes. Now, imagine it'd be like, just crazy stuff in here. Let's, let's tell her. It says that... The bites... It, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, Down. It says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me. Is that he fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was Damn. scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse please, for Emily, this. Emily, please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. God. I'm sorry. Damn. I ain't gonna lie. That smack hurt. Emily slapped Ashley after the truth was revealed. Shit. And it literally, the trophy Shit. says, talk to M. We've got to get to like, Mike. talk to him? Like talk now. to M. Wait, get some mic. What do you mean? Why are we gonna get some mic? What did Mike do? But we all gonna go after Mike? Hold on, bro. I think I think I wanna live. I would've been like. Oh, Joshua. You should have listened to me. Because What's of up? your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? Hey, man, don't bring a message to your poor sisters to die. You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear, while a real threat was closing in. Damn, what happened no, to you, Doc? It's all you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong, and your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're Damn. all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness is? Oh my god, look at the doctor, bro. Hey. Why did you hurt them? Maybe Josh really is crazy, bro. Joshua, why did you hurt them? They hurt me. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry at least until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Mm. Hey, if I would say it was just a game, that's basically the same thing I was saying. It was just a prank. Let's hope that it's not too late. Mm. Damn, it skipped a butterfly. 
Emily was bitten. Mike spared Emily as she was faced with a dilemma and told the truth. Now, I wonder if I were to have my relationship with Ashley and M, like Ty, would that be something else? Josh was not remorseful about his actions. Hmm, damn. I mean, bro, they did kill your sister. I know they're sorry, but like, bro, that shit led to death. Why did the whole color change? All right, interesting. These are everything that we just read. I'm gonna be honest, I have found every clue for 1952. I'm a beast. I'm a beast. Tournament. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from this terrible isolation. So what happened to the doctor, bro? That nigga looking dead. Like, do we ever know what happened to the doctor? Or like, that's just Josh's head going crazy like that. Chapter 9, Despair. You know what? Considering how last time my footage got corrupted, that should have been a 50, for, uh, a 50 minute video, but now it's going to be a 20 minute video. So, unfortunately, sorry for the corruption. Um, But yeah, chapter nine, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Uh, we'll get to it. Um, I come back to the game. And I'm just going to love y'all. Young D is out of here. Doses.